A team of seven students from the Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands has submitted its findings on the city's drainage system. The team, which spent seven weeks in Guyana, recommended, among other things, geographical mapping of the city's drainage system in order to move the city's drainage system to a more scientific and knowledgeable platform. The team leader, Jus Remers, said that with the recommendation submitted to the government, local engineers will be able to make knowledgeable decisions and recommendations in the future. With this research, in the future, the Guyanese stakeholders should be able to make knowledge-based decisions to, to make a transition from experience-based management of the system to knowledge-based decision-making. He also said that based on the findings, the team formulated a model which will give local engineers and students a better understanding of the local drainage and irrigation system. Ramirez further stated that another model was made based on a structural assessment tool which will also give engineers an in-depth analysis of the coker systems. He said that with the findings, maintenance priorities can be set. Guyanese uh, drainage system and the Dutch drainage system are uh, very much the same because as well as the Netherlands, Guyana lies below sea level. Um, there are not any profound differences which can be found and our report was also not based on deciding what elements are good or bad in the Georgetown drain system. All our work that has been done has been done to improve the capacity of knowledge-based decision-making by the Guyanese stakeholders here. Meanwhile, Minister within the Ministry of Public Infrastructure, Annette Ferguson, said the findings of the report will be reviewed by Cabinet. She further noted that the recommendations will also help Guyana in its efforts to improve the local drainage and irrigation system. Javon Vickery, HGP Nightly News.